All right, we are still dealing with rain out there, but I'm going to start off with the current visibility. Not bad across much of the area, but in Boca, a little bit of fog developing with that rain and humidity. So visibility has lowered to two miles there. Temperatures are warming up in a few spots to 77 degrees in store as well as Okeechobee, mid 70s for the rest of the Treasure Coast, Fort Pierce and Vero Beach. 72 though in Sebastian, 78 in West Palm Beach. So that's a fast warm up there, almost at 80 degrees. Look at this. So the winds have increased speed. So it's getting breezy out there. Winds mainly out of the southwest or west. But uh, right now, Boca is dealing with a wind speed at 26 miles per hour. It does have to do with this lingering uh, thunderstorm that has clearly dissipated. And now it's just a huge sheet of rain covering parts of northeastern Broward. But mainly for us, it's covering now the east metro cities of Palm Beach County. And then it gets a little bit better where it's not quite as widespread in the northern half of the county, but we're still seeing some uh, blips here of light rainfall, as you can see, also up into Martin County, but staying just south of Heritage Ridge. So Hope Sound along I-95 into uh, Tequesta, Jupiter, and then all the way down into West Palm Beach. That's where we're dealing with rain and, of course, in Boca Raton. Now, up through Indian River County and then back inland into Okeechobee. There's a little bit of light rainfall redeveloping, but you can clearly see that it's quite uh, less calm or I should say it's calmer less active right and so we're going into a break now after a very stormy start to our Sunday morning this is a look at the Viper cast it shows that we do clear out the rain from this morning by 11 a.m. maybe one or two lingering drizzles cloudy conditions a little bit of break and sunshine here and there as we go into the early afternoon but then it gets cloudy again now in the middle of the afternoon around three o'clock there could be some pop of thunderstorms and we're going to have to watch that throughout the rest of the afternoon into the evening even though vipercast is showing less conditions compared to this morning when it comes to the storm coverage well I think that we can't rule it out completely. We're still under a very active weather pattern across Florida. And with that said, there's still that slight risk for severe storms. We already had one earlier this morning, uh, so a lot of instability to work with right in the atmosphere. So strong storms again possible. This is tomorrow, but it'll start later in the afternoon and evening. And then again, as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, rain chances are very high for the rest of the week. Highs today in the low. 90s. Let's talk about that beach forecast. The surf is uh, very almost smooth out there. One foot or less rip current risk is low, but of course we're dealing with rain this morning. Not certainly a beach morning, but maybe you could head out later on in the afternoon. Uh, for boaters, watch out for water spouts today. Those seas are two to four feet and inland waters at a moderate chop. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. Hazy skies tomorrow, Tuesday, but we're still getting those thunderstorms late in the afternoon. And again, a few of those could be strong to severe tomorrow. Still stormy for the rest of the week.